no, 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 Nothing's changed, Astrogator. Bro! Oh, is that my boy? Did my boy come here? Nice. That's why he's the best. Question. Question. Are the nano machines actually my friend? Because if you remember, Bali e threw itself at the Alliance robot. And the Alliance robot, when it blew it up, we saved the brain. And if the nano machines can take over robotic parts, do you think Ball E got nano machined and is on our side and is trying to help us? But to what purpose? But to what purpose? Why would it do it? At least not in the last five seconds, huh? Right. Thank you. I'm starting to think our boy Ball E is part of the robot. The new robot uh, alliance that we've formed. This is our same. This is our same one. Absolutely. Yeah, there he is. There's our boy. Ball. Brain. Brain ball. We we soloed this thing. Spoilers for the movie Solo, I guess. Alright, so that's that way. That's a hole. That's another hole. This is a down. And this is the place we were before. Okay, so there's not there's not anything new here. Yes, as far as I'm uh oh. Everything's alright? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Mm -hmm. As soon as you find something, I'll report it. No worries, sir. The balloon's this way. Correct? Correct. to this fallen balloon. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like like the title of some Renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm going crazy, sir. Slowly crazy. I found the recorder. The fallen recorder of Regis. Uh, please stop. You suck, sir. Let's get weird. Show me some cool stuff. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Hmm. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. 
It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. Notice the electromagnet, uh, it's increasing. Two vehicles that weren't there before. Now they're leaving again. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Probably knew they were all dead? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Maybe they Definitely. did, specifically. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. There's a shadow. Oh, it captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait. You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it. I told you. That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? That's a good question. I think he's near the base. Charging by the last slide. The Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Yeah? Okay. You know, Doctor, decades of space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. So why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. Oh, we got him. The probe again. Is it flying near the base, within range of the control center? Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what it's recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. So does this qualify as they're like... So the hideout's technically behind me. Is that what I'm learning? Did it land? It isn't the same droid. What am I looking for here? It wants me to go that away. 
I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout. And it's right above my head. All I needed to do was look up. So this means there's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them. Ooh, back inside. This thing? No. This is the one we just landed. Okay, or we landed before. Bring it to the ground. I'm a proby proby boy who's a land and land and pro boop 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 landing. No, this wasn't the land. This isn't the landing site. Another completely equal and same landing site? Ha! Got it down. Okay. Also, I just got an achievement that said that I landed at least two probes, and now the fact that they use the word at least, I'm like, is there more than two probes? Thanks, game. Thanks, game. All right, show me some cool stuff. I'm looking at the slides. All right, bunch of nerds being nerdy, nerding out. Plants, metal plants. They're creepy from above. All right, this is the hole they drilled. Oh, wow. The cloud in all its glory. Oh, shit. Both fascinating and terrifying at the same time. Terrifying. No, that's People terrifying. People don't stand a chance. The cloud caught up to them and killed... Uh, no, not that. It didn't kill anyone, but neutralized them all. Which is even worse than death. Okay. That probe managed to evacuate. Waited still until I approached it. Yeah. So this photo's gonna be us. It was like, look at this nerd reading. And then it got a photo of us being attacked. We know what happened after. But it's been just following me this entire time, huh? Okay. <sighs> All 
I was climbing. Oh, oh, climbing the much more difficult way? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh, this mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. You've said that like six times now. If I wanted to, I would. I would have left your ass behind. To climb without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm, I'm all right. I'm almost there. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. We're already up. We're already up here. Let's go. With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will. I will find the man. Ooh, boy. Have you? I made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. I see no dots. Shit! How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yes, now what is it? Why is it too late? Jasper, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... You. What have you done? Shit. He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Listen. I don't know what you're blaming me for. Get up. So much for talking. Jasna, don't provoke him. If you would just listen to me for one moment. I said get up. <sighs> you don't need to be afraid. Come in peace. Huh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? Just keep your mouth shut for your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. Oh. He's the only. We saw two figures. These are the only people we've seen here. There may not be superiors. This could be like, man's got no helmet. He could be exposed to crazy gas. Don't move. We didn't even spare the Arctan. Got some nerve to unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. Jasper, what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. I see you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire council. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, sir. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. I don't know what will happen to me. Huh? What did you say? Quiet, Yasna. Don't take any chances with him. He's a talking to me. I'll ask the questions, you just answer with a short yes or no. 
Is there anyone else? Apart from him. Uh-huh. So he's not alone. Are others close by? <sighs> Start, damn it. Nah. -uh. Got it. That's why I can't hear them. Nah. -uh. No? Not because of that. Uh, so there's a person who Nah. -uh. Not a person. When it rains, it pours, huh? Uh-huh. That's surprising. Do you have some alien there? No, of course not. Nah. -uh. Got it, of course not. That's why I'm betting on a humanoid robot. Uh-huh. The electrobots have already been phased out. So it must be one of the Arctans. A model with a small head pressed into the body. One of those so-called porters. Theoretically harmless. But due to its tremendous strength and potential reprogramming, you best be careful around it. Come on. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? Uh-huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? Oh, you just had... Legs? Torso? Head? Uh-huh. It's about his head? What could be so unusual? Uh, I don't suppose you can see much since he has his helmet on? No. Really? No helmet? <laughs> really? That's why I can hear him so clearly. It's... If he's been without it for a long time, with these levels of oxygen and methane, he must be a lunatic. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. Keep it up. Straight ahead. And where is he taking you? Do you think you could ask? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. Let it go. You set up a field base down there. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Really? Oh, really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Somehow I don't expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. It... Just now, I'm leaving you. The signal is getting weak. Wherever he's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. Get in. Go, yes, sir. Stay calm. Go. Yes, sir, I'm here. Uh? I'll do everything in my... What is this? Uh. Sit here. And don't you dare move. I have something for you. That's even more than we need. Although, Spliskus the Speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. One for you. And one. 
Force Plus, Gus. I'll pass for now. Wouldn't be so he seems anyway. pretty fine, considering. Splus, Gus, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something to have strength. Oh, gee. Don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on, eat. Did you like it? Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Zebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. Bro, what do you think is happening right now? They objected so much. Was that always... Scared the shit out of me. Was he always standing there like that? Uh, bro? A hairy baby's coming over here. Hey, hairy baby. What's up? How you... Sorry, I need to restrap you. I'll be broadcasting. And you, mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos. Hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just want her to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. Rohitra, listen to me. At least. I don't remember introducing myself to you, lady. I heard... You overheard, rather. Will you let me get a word in edgeways? God damn it. <clears throat> Talk if you must. <laughs> Worst case, I'll just gag you. Do you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Mm. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. You've been camping here long? No, we're not gonna- okay! I suppose you often go out for supplies. Ugh. 
You won't stop talking, will you? Well, there's nothing else to do on this wretched planet. <laughs> True that. We've been waiting for backup for more than a day. I should be here soon. So I advise you not to have any stupid ideas. You look like you've been here for at least a month. But fine. I'll play along. <laughs> I have no reason to lie to you. Wait. Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that- Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Oh, shit! I can't believe this is coming back in. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, lambs. That's a good brand. <laughs> Coven always smoked them. Sorry, but I wasn't lying. We're just scientists who've had awful luck. Uh -huh. Our intelligence, your intelligence. Our orders, your orders. It's all gone to hell, Rahitra. Now we need to focus on the people. I know what's wrong with them. Should I expect them here? Your people? I'm the only one left on the surface. The astrogator stays in the orbiting dragonfly, and there's no contact with the rest. If you lie, you only harm them. Several dozen of our men set off with me lost to Condor. If they find more Commonwealth spies, they may be less sympathetic than I am. Mm -hmm. If they return to the ship, why did you stay? I'm looking for others who may have survived. Oh. How many of you were affected? A fair few, right? Almost all of them. I... I don't want to talk about it. really just want to talk about it. When was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. Local, but treated. Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. No thanks. I see. So all in all, we don't trust each other, do we? Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots. That your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind. Wash away all memories. That sounds... Can you prove it somehow? I could. If you released me. Nice try. We'll do as follows. Mark 10 will watch over you, and I'll keep an eye out for Milos. As soon as he returns with help, you will show us this cloud. Mark 10, come to me. Supervisory procedure. One person, a woman. No Alliance ID. Targeted. I confirm. Should I start the surveillance? Yes. Guard our guest. Oh, great. 
Okay. All right. Oh, my neck. Oh, did he power off? I still throw it in there again? I don't want to throw it at that man. No, wait. What is that? Is that a tank? What happens? I threw a thing down there before. What if I do it? Why would I do that again? For what purpose? Throw it at this man? That's rude as shit. It's blue's curse. Psst. Priority zero. Man in danger. Bingo. Interesting. do anything really to me. He couldn't. Interesting. Phew. It worked. Astrocator. I, I escaped. Doctor, what a relief. Where exactly are you? I'm near their hideout. Though I intend to change that as soon as possible. There? Have you met Spluskus and Lendl? Yet. How do you know their names? I've intercepted the Alliance's communications. Keep going. We'll discuss everything on the way. The path along the cliff looks much safer. I think I can get down here. Good. Proceed. Yasna, yeah, I have to ask. What happened in the last <coughs> few hours? That man. He didn't hurt you, did he? I was sitting on my ass, guarded by Rahitra and his Arctan. I'm numb as hell, but other than that, I'm fine. What do you make of this man? What kind of person is he? Mm. He's a distrustful type, rough around the edges. It was impossible to get along with him. And we need a new plan. Huh, yeah. Seems so. Though I could use some rest. Oh, it was a rough day. A night. A rough couple of days, actually. Sorry, Doctor, but you'll have to get away from there first. <laughs> I think I know where to go. There's a hole from an antimatter beam on the other side of the canyon. Very well. Perhaps you can find out where the invincible landed. Oh, I didn't tell you the most important thing. Condor's here. On this planet. Condor? Yes. Looks like HQ got it all mixed up. Both the arrival time and the ship itself. What? That's unbelievable. How could the intelligence be so wrong? As soon as we return, I'll break their... No. Never mind. I think I'll follow Milos. The one who transported remaining survivors. Not the Condor. Who was heading there anyway? Maybe I can join his group. If they're still alive. 
Given the circumstances, that's quite unlikely. I know. But since I managed to find three living people... All right. We'll do as you say, Doctor. I trust your judgment. There's an underground tunnel in front of me. We may cut out for a moment. Understood. That's a beautiful night sky. Okay, here we go. Is that our boy? Time out. Our sweet boy really is. This man, I'm telling you. Bali. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Hmm. That's why it said there were at least two. Never mind. Doctor. Well, well. You've never made jokes like that before, sir. I'm glad you're fine. Never mind. A lion's prick, huh? Maybe. A little. Let's go. We need to get to the end of this insane story. What is my direction for this? Uh, is it behind me? Or is that the way? That's the hole. Uh oh. So we're in the new area, which is still going to be the bottom of the map. All right. This is these windows could be about nine hundred percent bigger. I feel like I'm in this damn car trying to be like, what the shit is? Oh, we loading in. We loading in. It's all about suspension, not windows. Yeah, I guess. They had to, you know what? They were limited. Technology, they were like, look, do you want to bounce or do you want to see? And I said bounce. And they were like, wrong choice. No seeing for you, mister. And I was like, cool. Thanks, guys. Step at a time, Yasna. 
one step at a time. I've driven to the place where they were stationed before they set up the base. Do you want to stop? <sighs> yes. Okay. Maybe I'll find something worthwhile. We got tubes big. Oh, shit. There's several oxens here. Are they still working? Yes. I wonder for how long. Sometimes I think we don't stand a chance. What are you talking about? About us, Astrogator. Humans. Biological organisms. All this so-called life is so fragile compared to the lifelessness of machines. So you found more bodies? One. Is it Minos? No. Someone else. Oh. You can't help him anymore. But there are still people who are alive and need you. Let's not forget about them. As you said yourself, Doctor. Please keep going. I guess we'll check over here. There's a landing pad. That could be three probies. Just putting that out into the world. Oh, this is nothing. Nope, hard no. But hold on. Hey, probie, what's up, dude? What are you doing? What you doing? What's going on? What you doing? You're just hanging out here? At the scaffolding? They were building like a whole ass facility over here. What the shit? How long was Condor here? Can't get in there. Okay. Yes, now. Focus. What now? Come in. I'm using an open Here's channel to broadcast. Over. How's it going? Are you receiving no this, Astrogator? So Affirmative. Milos, what do you think? What's gonna happen now? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. Perhaps the higher-ups can do something. Hey! Hey, Morrow! Sit down! Uh, I wish we had secured them better. But back to the matter. Have you found anyone else? One working arc can so far. Several probes also seem to be people, Rehitra. Only people matter. I know. The arc can will help me look for them. I'm going away for a while. I stopped at the old excavations. I'll look for Pepstar. All right. I'll check the base again. Over and out. So why are some affected and some are... I'm moving on. I think that's enough sightseeing for me. If Milos kept going, so should I. Agreed. Hey guys, sup? Is this down here? Why is this dude like longingly looking out? What do you? And another one. Oh, the sight of death is starting to exhaust me more than frighten me. Which in itself is quite normal, Doctor. You're well aware that these are our survival mechanisms. <sighs> Okay, 
Okay. So this controls the robot that's behind me. And was there a platform? Where was the platform at? Does it have to land on the landing pad that was up here? Ooh, the signal's shit. Okay, landing site. Slide show me game. Oh, that's so dark. Okay. So it was following everyone as they went along their merry way. And then continued following them. And that's it. That's all it did was follow and follow. It followed me and then followed them. And then that's it, huh? Cool. Good, good slides. Good slides, y'all. I just gotta keep on keeping on. Still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. technically three when it did say you landed at least three or two probes at least was the uh, phrase to pay attention to there that's pretty I'm, I'm pretty okay with that also sharp turn Oh, uh, there's a giant whatever the shit that is. So this is just nothing. be nothing. My lights are freaking out, but you know. Nah, it's nothing. Okay. I just looks like a warhead detonated there. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be. Oh, do they shield it? Because it looks like they're shielding down here. Yeah. Okay. There's a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energo bot somewhere. But I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although... It's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Boulders are blocking the way. So even if I turn the force field off... We still can't proceed. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. 
wouldn't make much sense. Please keep looking. The transporter. They're here. It's standing still. In front of the force field. Is that Milos, convoy? I'll confirm. There's someone inside. More than one. Two. And they're all in the transporter? Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. That doesn't seem good. I'm going in. Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. Oh, they must be in the back. Yeah, they must be in the back. Oh, they all dead in there. Are you trying to turn the power on? Yeah, I probably should. Moment of truth. Ah, it's on. Get the door open. There's something going on there. I can't get in though. Can I get in the back? Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors. Wait! The back door open. Oh. No. What? What is it? It's a coffin, sir. A mass grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness, with no chance of understanding what's going on. Terrible death. I'm sorry you have to see that. Yo! Registers 428. Playing in broadcast mode. You found more of those? No. It started automatically. Hello, can't do it. Too long not to receive help from Condor. Nobody will come. come back. I'm afraid we're there's not a soul here on this Hello. damned planet, Condor. except for the three in the cave. Yes, I'm listening. Time. Let's skip this to the rest of the recordings. I've been stopping them from no the excavation site. I'm not going back there. I was looking for others, but well, let's we're no longer there. One notch. I'll continue my that search. I can do. We're waiting Why? for your Ah, oh, much better. Agreed. Yo, what the what? Is that just me going to the new... Astrogator, someone's firing distress flares from near the hideout. Do you think it's Rahitra? Who else could it be? It sounds like you know something, sir. Actually, I don't. Well, he put out a broadcast. But Why didn't then? say a word about you, as if nothing had happened. Because he forgot, Firstly, sure. 
Please keep me informed of such things. Second, it happens again. He started a new cycle. Please be more clear. He fell asleep and forgot what happened the whole day. Right. And once again, he will wake up on the 26th day of the mission. I almost feel sorry. So he's firing those flares if thinking... I snap oh, him out God. of the cycle. I'll keep repeating it until he dies. Or goes insane. Of course, I feel the tragedy of this man. You want to rescue him, even though he's still a threat. You don't have to say anything. Am I going back? Yeah, it looks like. I see the hill. I'll be there in a minute. Please slow down. Remember, he has a gun. He didn't shoot at you the first time, but if you go in now... He won't this time as well. In, in any case, let's not worry in advance. I haven't located him yet. What about all those machines on the hill? Is there anything there he could use to threaten you? Your reaction to your late-night visit? Well, let's see. Given you're bringing him such devastating news, he might overreact. Okay. Is this the right way? No, but this is a way. To what? Bro, what? I'll report it. No worries, sir. I found weird glowy rocks, sir. Is that cool? Was this a shortcut? <laughs> Wait, what? Found a UFO, sir. I will not. For Hitra, for fuck's sake. Do it for Spluskas and Lendor. Oh, not beating around the bush, Doctor. You think it's a 26th day of the mission? Just after the attack on your base that left many of you in critical condition. But the truth is much worse. Milos left a long time ago. What? How, how do you... You fell victim to that attack as well. The microbot cloud has wiped all traces of your comrade's memories. Your long-term memory is probably fine. That is, up until the moment you found them. You keep forgetting everything that comes after. I have reason to believe it happens during sleep. As a result, you relive the same day over and over, waiting for backup that will never arrive. The micro what cloud? That's bullshit. I don't know what you're trying to achieve, but... Focus, Rahitra. We've already met once. We spoke in your hideout. You've had me at gunpoint already. 
Tell me, where did you wake up today? On the mattress where you usually sleep? Or on the floor next to the radio? What does that have to do with anything? You, you see, we talked for a long time yesterday. And we fell asleep while we were sitting. The water bottle you gave me is still by the crate. Did you put it there last night? Don't mess with my head. Milos will come. Milos is dead. They're all dead. They've been lying nearby for hundreds of days. You were supposed to go and check why contact was lost. You were supposed to leave tomorrow. But tomorrow never comes. Stop it! I know that it's hard for you to believe. I'm not against you. I came back to help you. No, I'm warning you. I'll use my gun. Rahitra. I know you won't shoot me. His broken ass gun. Fuck! How long? How long have I been here? Good. You're finally getting to him. 428 days. Ooh. At least. That's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. This... this... this cloud? A result of the evolution of inorganic beings. It, it attacks the most important parts of biological organisms. Our brains. It responds to radio waves. That's how it found our crew. Broadcast was a wave bombarding all devices. This electromagnetic field, the cloud produced it. That's right. This is how it damages our brains, our robots, and, and all machinery. Hey, to interrupt, but we have a problem. The cloud is coming. Right now? Yes. It's closing in on you. Hurry, Asana. Copy that. Huh? What's going on? Who are you talking to? This is a topic for another time. The cloud will be here soon. Quick, lead to the hideout. Now, move! Can he get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. What the fuck? Can you stop him somehow? You'll cause trouble for both of you. I don't think so. He's already up in the field. I see. You can't beat him, join him. You have a much better chance of surviving if you stick together. Hey! Uh, you! What's your name, anyway? Yasna. I'm... Ah, uh, whatever. You know already. What's this? Are you familiar with the energy transformation of Dirac emitters? Uh... uh... Thought so. Here, take it. You can help. By shooting. I'll take care of maintaining the force field. When you aim, wait for the green light. Then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple.
another cluster? this for hit trap. I can't believe you dragged me into this. That's what you think. You're very much mistaken. I'm not giving up. So they took one out, is that the vibe? achievement and it said that I eliminated more than 50,000 of them is that a thing that I can do that I I mean I did it should I be checking in on this guy thing she said before getting knocked out again. How do I get to you? Conditions of high radiation, contamination, enormous pressures and temperatures. Due to the interference of the force field, it floats several feet above the ground. So it doesn't depend on the surface. In addition to the Dirac's force field, it has an antimatter spherical blaster. Well, I hope you're right. Because I've heard about your power more than once. And all I see is one defeat after another. In this case, Yasta, it's not just empty boasting. Sending the Cyclops somewhere is... is like giving the task to the devil himself. Look, I've given you a simple choice, Yasta. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. We could fly to Condor right away. Or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. <sighs> Somehow it does not surprise me. Let's fly. Just a minute. 
through them. For the force field to shut down, which should be soon. So it got me again. How long was it? Yo, what the shit? Uh, he's not here. Retra. He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. You had rather a hard landing. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. Uh, didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. Right. If it's suspicious, but right here, fine. Surely mistaken. So they've got a giant super sh wow. holy shit. It's impressive. The calm door? Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. In real life, too. I think I know where a hitcher is. It's to be expected that we'll lose communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Indeed. You'll have to establish a connection using one of the devices on the ship. I'm sure you'll find one in the command bridge. Later, Astrogator. I want to get to Rehitra first. She really said later, Astrogator. There's a good chance he'll be there too. Ah. So that's their marvel of military technology. Rehitra wastes no time. Is it attacking already? For now, he's only released the Cyclops. As they call it. The hell is he thinking? <laughs> it's floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Ah, what does it look like? Must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret. It's big. Bigger than a transporter. Its launchers are hidden for now. But for some reason... There's one more thing, Yasta. This is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while, but so far everything indicates... What is it, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. And if I'm reading the message correctly, I'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. And they have no idea of the danger. In other words, it solves the mystery of why they're coming here. They want a rescue mission. And we were treating them like enemies. I'm boarding. I'll talk to you soon, Astrogator. Stay in touch, Yasna. Cool. Jesus, criminy Christmas. They have so much shit here. And dead people. Tarped up dead people. Okay. Convenient. I don't know what the hell does just did that. Okay. 
Yes, I'd like to put this in. Thank you very much. Well, let's go up. Next stop, Rahitra. Not quite at the bridge yet, but I'm getting closer. Much closer, Rahitra. Mm, blocked off. Med bay appears to be open. It must be the medical wing. Surprisingly, everything's still running. Was Rahitra here? Vega. Interesting, interesting. So this is their studies of what it was as well. All right, hold on, let me explore the sides. Hello? Ding dong. Different sections. Different elevator cards. Ah, oh, they really overdo it with the security measures around here. I guess I still have some time to look around. Space toilets. That's all I need to see is space toilets and I'm good. How do they go to the bathroom? Space toilets. Who is this? Neva Hoffman. Through skull interneural stimulator, commonly known as the grave tapper. Oh yeah, we were gonna use this on our friend. Registering the last conscious records of an already dead brain, sending electrical impulses through those nerve fibers, which in the terminal state formed a functional entirety. One should proceed along the lines of following scheme. Use TIS to cleanse the skin on the deceased forehead. Attach six electrodes, right, right, right. Set dials in the apparatus according to the provided values and activate TIS by pressing start button, pushing start button. Take on headphones attached to the apparatus. Observe the last records of the deceased's brain. Attention! The foregoing manual should be applied only in the case of a recently deceased or deceased in the early stages of decay. The results of this examination are deemed uncertain and potentially unethical. Interesting. Another space toilet. That one, chrome. Can they customize their own space toilets? Is that a vibe? Um. Reapplication for permission to develop private projects. I hereby submit the second request for permission to proceed with the development of the reading devices I tenderly named Optone and Lectone. I would like to challenge the opinions of the higher up engineers who claim that my concepts are mere fantasies and a collection of ideas lacking real functionality. I've created a prototype of the Optone as evidence of its feasibility. I wish to reiterate the foundations of my concepts. I firmly believe that the bold visions of the fantasy writer work under the pseudonym Lem, cute, can be executed. The entirety of cosmic knowledge will no longer be preserved on materials of natural origins. Books will take the form of crystals inscribed to their content. These crystals can be read using the aforementioned optone. I'm designing it to resemble a book, but it will only be a singular page between the covers, a single page which will be sufficient uh, to turn the page. Its advantages. This will be a faithful simulation. and a remarkable space-saving solution in our libraries. This will significantly expand our knowledge storage capabilities, thereby giving us a competitive edge in the planet interplanetary arena. Note, for the presentation purposes, I will include the content of a story in honor of the invincible within the Optone. The second concept, verified by me, is a reader with an audio playback function. 
and may be dedicated to those who are at the helm of ships and wish to pass their travel time, broadening the horizons through literature. Consequently, I do not rule out the possibility of presenting the story in an audio format. In summary, I kindly request a favorable consideration of this application. Please, boobity boobity bee, you guys are gonna love this. Can I use it? Or, obviously that has some like, you know, audiobook overtones, but also this looks exactly like if we were, if this game was gonna pull out a, um, like audio logs, you know what I mean? It's the exact same vibe as when you find them, but that's clearly the book reader and that's clearly the audio log, right? That's cute. But this is a thing I can't use, huh? Also, this is literally called a How 9000. It's literally a How 9000, so. That's cool. That's cool. That's fun. That's dirty as shit. Uh, someone tried to eat soap. No. No, I'm not getting in there, huh? What is this? This is the iron they're finding? There were, okay, other planets, can't get in there. Um, I'm assuming those are just dead plants and not the plants from the surface. Okay, this guy shot himself. Medical note, the patient on the day of admission, organ functions normal, body temperature normal, CRP normal, visible anxiety disorders affecting uh, dysponia, accelerated ECG, lowered beneflorex, and sleeping problems. Interview, patient had been deepening his knowledge about the reversal and astrophysical phenomenon throughout recent years. Three weeks and uh, two days ago, he formulated a theory of a white hole the antithesis to a black hole, of a black hole. According to the patient, the white hole expels what has been absorbed by the black hole. And when a white hole and black hole move closer to each other, a tunnel may appear in between them. Diagnosis, anxiety, neurosis, caused by severe stress, strained work, and brain. Conclusions, the patient did not define what kind of formations potentially expelled by a white hole Another previously absorbed by black hole implicity in another dimension caused such a strong anxiety reaction in him. Okay. He also didn't specify a reason why the mentioned tunnel would threaten his sense of security. However, his repeated words and created drawings indicate a, di a direct connection between the hypothesis and anxiety neuroses. Uh, recommendation. Stop your research. Okay. And they... And then if not, put him in hibernation. That just says not everything everywhere is for us. Seems like a reasonable uh, lesson. Although this guy was shooting through or did someone shoot through to him? I don't even know. Protection against the flies, chemical methods. GABA can be given to crew before going to Regis, Regis 3. Too long waiting period before taking effect. Cross out, significantly reduces the crew's ability to perform tasks dead end. They considered even the most absurd forms of protection against a cloud. And I don't blame them. Alright, so that's this. This is where we came from. What is this? 
Uh. Yo, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, shit. I just feel like cigarettes, but nothing else, huh? Oh, these are the pods. Are people in them? Oh, hold on, hold on. Empty syringes. Rachel must have given them something to calm them down. As he did in the hideout. Oh, he put the... Oh, what the shit is this? Huh. This soporific could be useful. Although I prefer not to have to use it. Okay. So I can knock him out if I need to. Surely he's... We'll find out. We'll find out. Excuse me. Excuse me, bodies. A lot of dead people here. Although it has been a year, so yeah, that checks out. Protect chance to flies, electric camouflage. The wiped out brain shows little electrical activity, and according to the latest report, flies are no longer interested in their victims. Conclusion: We need to hide the activity of healthy brains. Cap of invisibility, thin metal mesh under the hair. What the? Um, emission of weak electrical impulses, imitating an erased brain. No available test objects without further tests. This is just a prototype. The machine introduces point magnetic impulses into the brain, causing a depolarization current, which stimulates the selected areas of the cortex as well as other areas. Consequently, tissue neuroplasticity and neurogenesis will increase. Preliminary hypothesis, this method will allow subjects to learn language again and understand complex social... Okay, so it's possible to save them. So apparently there's hope. Gotcha. We can... No. Wait. The memories won't come back. So much for the hope. Right, but that doesn't necessarily... At least they'll be normal-ish and not babies. I don't know. Uh oh, I missed that. Minor announcement given to the general public courtesy of the command. Important lost a Delbana brand watch with a starfish like dial face. This is very important, clearly. In the family for generations, prepared once by a father who was a watchmaker, worn by his astrophysicist's son. Phenomenon of cosmic time dilation does not diminish the sentimental value of the object, nor, according to current research, does it give any chance to go back in time and not lose the artifact? Okay, Jaro wants it back. Sorry, Jaro, I didn't see it. Anything else? That clearly works, but I'll go, I'll run around. Nope. Actually, we have the, the L. Oh, that's the lift. Lol. Okay. All right. So, you made it. Quicker than I thought. 
Were you deliberately trying to slow me down? I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but... <sighs> Never mind. Hey, dude, where are you? Backfield. I'm ready to activate. Spherical thrower. Anti-protons. Be hell. Rahitra! Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. They're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasna. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. But why, Rahitra? What for? I'm aware that I may lose communications. The Cyclops won't stop fighting, but I'll lose visuals. You understand? That's not what I asked. Yasta, make a decision. Here and now. Come what on. What the fuck How's are you doing? Be? No. You're on your own. I'm gonna call my commander. Fine, suit yourself. Just don't disturb me. I find you can handle that. What are you doing, dude? What is this psychopath doing? Reporting from the bridge. Good job. They're gonna fight soon. Already? Yes, already. Couldn't you? No, Astrogator. Believe me, I haven't encountered such a stubborn individual in a very long time. If ever. May I suggest you? Ah, uh, did you hear that? Yes, yes. Tell not to. Oh, what a fucking mess. I must check on him. Right. Copy that. The waiting contact. Uh, missiles, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing, nerd? Rahitra? What's going on? I don't understand. It was going so well. Is it over now? The field held? It got so many of them. It's gone completely mad. Now it's wandering around aimlessly. Sounds familiar. As I look, enraged. Yeah, pissed off like hell. Listen, I connected with my astrogator. We need to talk about what's next. I won't leave it like this. I guarantee you. Rahitra, your men are on their way here. On the Invincible. I've heard that before. Turns out it was true all along. Uh. They're flying here. Do you hear me? We'll sort everything out. So, Horpak is flying here with company? What an honor. And when will they arrive, if I may ask? We anticipate they'll arrive in a few days. A few days? That's a lot of time for me. I realize. We'll come back to that. But let me go back to the radio. I'll return soon. I do not trust this man at all. But I also don't think he should be left alone? You know what I mean? Like, he's... He could do... Like, I... Mm. I'm back. The fight is over. Well, I think I know the outcome. I'm registering increased activity from the cloud. Yes. A complete fiasco. This was to be expected. You didn't expect the attack to succeed, did you? D. 
Did you get confirmation of the Invincibles' arrival? Yes. They're very close. When will they get here? Soon. Uh, could you be a bit more specific? Yes, I have the impression you're the one in a rush now. I don't know exactly. A few days, tops. Can I talk to them now? We will hit her. Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Noble, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novit to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all this? Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree, officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. So far, however, your crew has not been cooperative. Anyway, we stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the Cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still have not answered me, Vitra. Please, just tell me straight. It's coming from that way, too? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, cluster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rahitra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. Over the top, I'd say. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. That a man of energy could rip the planet to pieces. We don't want that! I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads. To start with. And no! Then, we'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. It I looks crazy! Who wants to use nukes, but put yourself in my shoes. I've seen Independence Day, my man! Tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen then. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. You know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. Look, I understand how you feel. But you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking a ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. We won't gain anything from a mindless attack. On the other hand, knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others... Bro! ...she comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? <laughs> oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. 
They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react to radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. So, they see no difference between a man and a machine? They take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasin found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. Some of them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology, not to mention an arsenal. What they wouldn't have. But there were other machines here as well. Other machines? I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Richard, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for all this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? So that was the Nova? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, oh, so maybe that was post Nova? Well a robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. What is the guiding principle of a homeostat? To survive. Apparently the machines pose a threat to one another. They use the same source of energy to function. A common, finite resource. Okay, but why did some flies survive this? Not something bigger and better. The way I see it, they were better. The best. In necroevolution, the bots that used up the fewest resources won. So they miniaturized or became sedentary. The former process gave rise to the cloud. The latter started this bizarre genre of, of metal structures resembling vegetation, which formed the city. And they're still growing? No. They lost the fight for survival, and now they're just rusting remnants. Only one form survived. The flying microbots that conquered all land areas on Regis III. So these flies were just the best adapted? To the conditions of this planet? Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis III. Local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them, so the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. It doesn't, dude! It's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. <gasps> yes, sir. Do you agree? Dude, well, the invincible was the cloud itself. Yeah, I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Ritra. 
Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. <sighs> but what else can we do if not attack? <sighs> Evacuate? He's not going to leave. He's not going to come with us. Oh, for the love of shit. The Invincible is near. We can wait for its arrival. Huh, right. That is one solution. Although I was hoping we'd come back to Dragonfly. Back home. Huh. Done. More heads are armed. One more press of a button. And there'll be no turning back. I can't. Uh, that was close. I'm suspending all actions leaving the conflict. But what should I do now? We have a lander. So you can get to the Dragonfly. All of us? Yes. Your men are welcome on board. I don't know what to do. I guess... Um, Alright. It makes sense to go, but I'm afraid he's gonna be like, No, I'm not leaving. Like, I just... This guy is that stubborn. I'll say it, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be like, No. Oh, I don't wanna. I'm going back. And you, Hitra? Are you flying with us? You actually mean it? Damn. Thank you. But I can't leave just before my people are. I have to tell them about the cloud, necro evolution, this whole mess. But you. I can handle it, Yasna. I'll take the stimulants and hold out until they arrive. Whatever it takes to stay awake. Maybe I can write it all down. Take my diary? Oh shit, I'd give him all my information. Wouldn't it be better if you took my diary? It contains everything I've learned. Huh. As long as your commander doesn't mind. Please take it, Comrade Ritra. There are no more factions on this forsaken planet. We're all just people here. Do I hand it to him? Or is he just gonna... Sit here? Oh. Thank you. For this and for everything else. I've prepared Hopper for departure, but there's still a matter of access to the landing pad on the back. Novik, how do you know about our landing pad? Well, you know what they say? <laughs> Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Astrogator likes big ships. Right. Anyway, someone has to break the force field and open the dome. The field automatically deactivates when the dome is open. It's the same switch on the control station. All right. Sounds simple enough. Is there a dome? Would it be command over there?
Look for the control. Okay, got it. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Good luck, Rahitra. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Have a safe flight, Yasna. You Commonwealth ain't all that bad. Bam, we used our humanity together to survive. Although I wish you would come with us, I also kind of want to stay, but also F this whole planet. So I bet staying is an ending. I know there's multiple endings. So I'm sure there's multiple ways this winds up. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Wow, already? It went smoothly. The landing pad is generous in proportion. <sighs> like everything here. I can see Hopper. I can't believe I'm finally coming back to you. I'm very happy to hear it, Yasna. Me too. It's just... It was such a long and difficult mission. Are you ready? I'll just close the hatch and... And what? I had this on me? Oh, hell no. Throw those away. <laughs> I ain't got time for that shit. Mm -mm. I'm gonna buckle up now. Nope. Nope. That's not coming with me to space. Ready. Copy that. Hopper is taking off in three. Do you think it kept wiping my memory to make one, me forget that I had that on me? And then I would have taken it to space and then it would have propagated on our. What is. We're good? That seemed pretty easy. That didn't that seemed terrifying. I got one ending. So I got one I did I see the thing, I got an ending. I see an achievement and said I got an ending. Question. By the way, thank you everyone who made this game. Question. Can I press escape? F to skip. Look, I love y'all. But what if, what if I could load, load game? All right, okay, all right, all right, all right. I have something I wanna do. I don't wanna nuke anything. I still don't wanna nuke we anything. We anticipate they'll arrive in a few days. A few days? That's a lot of time for me. The Invincible is near. We can wait for its arrival. Huh, right. That is one solution. Although I was hoping you'd come back to drive. Alright, here we go. I'm staying this time. We're not firing the nukes, that's for sure. Done. That's gonna end badly for all of us. I'm no fool. Armed. One more press of a button. Don't you do it. No turning back. Don't you do it. I can't. Uh, that was close. Suspending all actions leaving the conflict. But what should I do now? We have a lander. Alright. So I'll wait here with you. All of us? I'm staying. What? What? I'm staying here. We'll wait for the invincible together. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Someone has to warn them, Astrogator. Mm. And Rahitra is well. Don't like, would they believe my stuff. notes? That's interesting. We're all aware of my condition. Yes, the doctor reported it. Because of this and many other reasons, I feel I must stay. Uh, well, I need to check on the guys. It was good talking, Astrogator. See you in a minute, Yasna. Yeah. Take care. So, he's gone. Doctor. Yes, no. It was truly an honor. <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding the right words. 
I know I couldn't keep my mouth shut sometimes, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm extremely grateful to you. You could have flown away so many times, yet you stayed with me until the end. Thank you. You shouldn't thank me. It was my bounden duty as commander. My only regret is that I couldn't do more, and that some decisions... Please don't blame yourself anymore. There's no point. Now Covell and Crowder need you. Understood? Yes, Mom. Have a safe journey, Novik. Thank you, yes, sir. And see you soon. Over and out. Is that it? Are you oh. sure? Yeah. You look <laughs> like shit. We shaved him. That's not bad. Did. That's what I meant to say. Because you're trying to be polite. The undeniable truth is, I look and feel like shit. Uh, will you close it for me? So he's going to rest until they get here then, is the vibe. So he doesn't forget and get in the way. Of course. Support and stimulants will help you. I won't sleep. I can't. You know that. I have to endure somehow. It, it won't get to that. Because I'll tell you everything all over again. No. Yes, no. I know me all too well. I won't believe the cloud can't be defeated. Or help you convince the Invincibles crew you're innocent. You'll end up in custody, and they'll just repeat our mistakes. Hmm. That's a strange feeling. Remaining conscious in the hibernator. <laughs> you clearly haven't visited the infirmary often. This is a standard procedure for a long recovery. Will you take another look at Landor and Spluskas? I'm doing it now. Don't worry. Thanks. But you still wondering whether to go to the nest. This is probably your last chance. If you want to make it before the Invincible arrives, it would be good to have you here. When they come, the journey there and back will take you about 12 hours. I'm going to go. I've been thinking about it for a while. And it's something I just have to do. I might be the only person who can make contact to to understand. I know. But you will come back, won't you? I intend to. Pardon? What are we doing? Sometime li so I'm just like reaching out like hey. Yep, here they are. They're flying around. They're, we're floating. We're, do, we're doing... What the shit is about to happen?
Oh, I'm releasing them. So they are sentient. They can communicate is, I guess, what we're getting out of that. So they aren't dumb bugs. They're, they're learning. I guess we don't know sentience, but they're, they've acknowledged me as a character. I don't... All right. I will leave it there for you to find out the rest if you want to play yourself. But I'm still convinced that Ball E got taken over. And the reason why Ball E saved me is because they have been, like, up in my head. Like, why wasn't I a baby? What is the... What is... There is so much more going on in this story than we know. That's fascinating. That's fascinating stuff. I got questions. I got so many questions. I don't know what it means. Hmm. There is a note on that. Won't give it away. Really? I missed a note on it? All right. Well, who knows? Loved it. That was super fun. I love games like this. That gave me the exact... You know what? When we were talking about Firewatch, it gives me exact same Firewatch vibes. I love a good, like, let's solve a mystery and let's get weird. That was very cool. That was very, very cool. <laughs>